Today, I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate an ad within your Facebook business manager and add it to another ad set. Someone had asked me how to do this, so I figured I would just do a quick video because I needed to do it for a client of mine anyway. So I'll just show you while I'm at it. Uh, I appreciate you guys continuing to send questions because that helps me with content, helps me create more videos, and helps me answer what you guys are looking for. So I am already inside my business manager. And I have actually gone, if you go into your business manager, I'm within one account. I'm inside my power editor. Um, I have the account name blocked just so you won't see the client information. Once you get into your power editor, you've got your campaign level, you've got your ad set level, and you've got your ad level. So I am inside one campaign and I'm actually on my ad level. And the ad that I want to duplicate is this one right here. It's this $19 Swedish massage, but I want to do it for a different ad set. So I've already built one ad set. And we're going to duplicate this. So you just want to simply check this box right here next to your ad, and we're going to go up to the duplicate button. You'll see a few options here. The first one is the keep can keep same same campaign. Can't talk today. Keep same campaign will actually create everything. It'll literally duplicate the exact same ad set, the ad, the whole thing, that is not what we want. I am actually going to go down here to use existing. Now this will give you options. You can actually come in here and select different campaigns, but I want to stay within this campaign. You would think that would be the same as keep Sam campaign, but just by selecting use existing, if you'll notice it, I got another box that came up down here that says choose an ad set. I don't want to use my existing ad set. I'm going to create a new ad set and we're going to call this one, I'm just going to say 18 to 65 women um, and we're going to target uh, spas, people that are already interested in day spas. This is for a day spa. So I'm going to create that and it's going to duplicate my ad. So it's duplicated my ad now. Here we are down here. Uh, this error is showing up just because I haven't actually made this go live yet. Then I'm going to come back over here to my ad sets and you'll notice now I have two ad sets. So I am going to unselect that and go over here to my duplicate. So my ad is duplicated. Now I want to come back to my ad set level because that's really what I want to change. I don't want to change the ad. I want to run the same ad set. I'm sorry. I want to run the same ad to multiple ad sets. So for instance, if you have multiple targets or different groups and different audiences that you want to target to see which one is performing the best. I always tell people when you're creating ad sets it's a little bit different than like a Google AdWords world where you would want to list out 50 or 60 different keywords and basically every keyword you could possibly imagine. When you're setting up ad sets within your Facebook Power Editor it's a little bit different. You don't want to lump in all of them together because you may want to target two or three or four or five different keywords but you want to do those as separate ad sets so now when I start running my same ad to five different groups I can kinda of see which which art audience is triggering the most results and I can focus in on the the audience that's getting the most leads and I can turn the rest of them off so now that I have that this is the one that I recreated uh, right up here target spa so we're going to go in and edit that because right now it's actually the same as the the one I just created. It's completely du duplicated the ad set, but I, it allow me to go in here and edit it. So for this one, um, I'm going to change that. I need it to be 18 to 65. I'm going to target women only. Uh, this one happens to be in Lubbock, Texas. So I'm going to do Lubbock and just for this I'm going to try a maximum of a 50 mile radius just to see that's giving me a potential reach of 160,000 so a little high but I, I like to keep my target my estimated reach at least at 100,000 if possible when you get into some of the smaller markets it gets a little bit trickier but 
Now I want to target people that are already interested in spas. So this when I just type in spa, it'll bring up all kinds of different options. When I highlight over it, it'll also tell me how many people are in there. So here's an interest of spas and there's over 360 million. So that's a pretty good one right there. That's probably the one I want to use. So I'm literally, I'm just going to use that. So I've got targeted women age 18 to 65 in a 50 mile radius of Lubbock, Texas, who are already interested in spas. And I am going, to, I'm not going to do automatic placements. I don't like that. For my initial ads, I try to just run them on the Facebook news feed. I will use Instagram, but I use, typically use that for retargeting. And don't want right column, and I don't want instant articles. I'm just going to run this one on the news feed. Now, if you'll notice, when I did all that, it changed my potential reach to 49,000. So it's a little bit less than what I would like for it to be, but I want to test this group anyway. I do want link clicks and I'm going to leave it on automatic bid. You can set it to manual if you're actually watching that. Um, I've, I have found that it's just easier to let Facebook figure out the best price so I leave that on automatic. Uh, and then we should be done. So now when I come over to my ads again, I should have, I have two ads and two ad sets. So it's essentially the exact same ad if I go in here and edit the ad that's that ad if I go back over here and edit this I have duplicated my ad but I've now got it set up going to two different ad sets so I'm gonna do actually do it one more time because I want to duplicate it again but you do the exact exact same process so I'm gonna go back down here this is my original ad that I had and I'm gonna duplicate that again I'm going to use existing, keep the same campaign, I'm going to create another new ad set, and this one I'm actually going to target salons, uh, let's say actually 18 to 65 women, um, interest salon, and we, we can always change the name, but that's what I want it to be. So now it's duplicating that ad now I've got three ads here I'm gonna go back over to my ad set and there's the one I just created women interest salon I'm gonna go in here and edit that one and I want all that to stay the same I'm gonna come back down here again change my age range from 1865 I want women only I want Lubbock, Texas. There it is. And I'm going to crank that up to a 50 mile radius again. Now, again, in a larger city, I would not do that big of a radius. But in Lubbock, Texas, you know, people from smaller surrounding areas will travel in. So we're going to go back down here to targeting again. Now I want people that are interested in salons. And I'll show you this one actually if you just picked that it's only got 64,000 people that are interested but if you come down here to beauty salons now I've got 402 million so I'm actually gonna select beauty salons and my potential reach on that went down to 66,000 but again I'm testing a couple different audiences here just to see which one is performing the best I don't want audience network I don't want Instagram don't want right column or instant articles, so I'm going to keep that only in the news feed as well. Uh, I'm keeping link clicks, I'm keeping automatic, and everything is done. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment below. Feel free to email me directly at smartashmarketing at gmail.com. Or if you just have an idea for a next video or something that you'd like me to see answered, you can also contact me and send me your question, and I'd be happy to do a video. Hopefully this, guy, this video helped you guys out. Again, if you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.